Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content at Informa Farmer Intelligence's uh, Insights Portfolio. We're here at the Biotech Showcase uh, in San Francisco. It's the, at the start of the year. It's one of those meetings where you know, biotech companies, pharmaceutical companies get together to sort of you know, have discussions, explain where they're moving, uh, sort of change that are taking place, you know, what their portfolios look like, and also you know, what assets uh, they may wish to, to um, uh, divest or, or, or acquire, or also you know, what they wanted to uh, get you know, new investors on board. I'm joined by Amit Munshi, who's the uh, CEO of Arena Pharmaceuticals. Uh, you joined the company six months ago, and you've been pretty busy uh, doing a lot of research. Could you sort of explain, you know, what's actually happened oh, since June? Yeah, thank you. Um, the company historically had been really driven by a GPCR research platform and a focus on Belvique. Yeah. And uh, in the middle, there was a robust pipeline that was sort of languished a bit. And we saw tremendous value in that pipeline. So the focus of the last six months has been to re-emphasize the pipeline, refocus on the pipeline. We have three phase two compounds, all with data readouts in 2017. And as part of that, we've restructured the discovery research to spin out into Beacon Discovery. Um, the original founders of Arena are involved in that spin out as a separate entity. And then at the same time, we've restructured our uh, agreement with ASI around yeah. Belvic so that we can begin to focus more heavily on our pipeline assets. So, 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 so Belvic was uh, an obesity uh, focused right. uh, product. So you, you developed that in partnership with, with ASI, but you've now basically handed them the rights to, uh, to that product. Correct. We still capture some back-end royalties and capture some upside in the event that the, comp the product becomes successful in the long term. However, for now, we're off the hook on a substantial development cost that we were previously on the hook for over $80 million. Um, we also received $23 million in uh, cost and expense offsets uh, that allow us to... Um, continue to manufacture the product for ASI in the near term. So it's kind of like a virtual $100 million deal? That's right. So it's a $100 million deal with the royalty restructuring, correct. Right. Okay. So that that now allows you to, as you say, sort of focus on the pipeline that you, you, you have. Could you sort of, you know, sort of give us some details of what that pipeline looks like at the moment? Sure. So we have uh, three programs in phase two. Uh, again, all with data readouts in 2017. The lead program is Atrazomod, formerly known as APD334. It's in a clinical program for APD, I'm sorry, for ulcerative colitis. Um, and that program, um, we're also testing in several other indications, including extra intestinal manifestations of ulcerative colitis, uh, polynosum, uh, polyderma gangrenosum, and, um, and finally, in primary biliary cirrhosis. So we've got multiple indications on that program. The second program is uh, APD811, now known as Relinapeg, and that reads out on a, a PAH study, pulmonary, pulmonary arterial hypertension, in the middle of the year. So that's a kind of a mid-year data readout. And the final program is the world's first highly selective full agonist to CB2. It's peripherally restricted to this receptor cannabinoid 2. Um, and that reads out in Crohn's pain in the fourth quarter of uh, 2017. So that, that seems like a sort of pretty sort of heavy clinical commitment. So do you have the resources already in place to be able to uh, you know, pay for all this? We do. So we've been, we've been managing our cash situation and part of the impetus for doing the ASI transaction and divesting the, uh, the discovery research was to shore up our resources so we can get through multiple of these data readouts in 2017. Right, okay. Um, and then when you got those data readouts, what, 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 what's the next step? I mean, were you, I mean, you had a partner for, 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 for Belvique. Uh, would you sort of seek to do the same, same sort of deal? Yeah, in general, I'm not a big proponent of just making that the, the uh, de facto or uh, baseline assumption. Um, we'd like to see the data first, we'd like to see multiple data readouts and begin to define what the company is going to be long term, but I'd like to do that on the back of data as opposed to preemptively deciding which direction we're going to go in. Okay, so so in the past Arena was an obesity company, now you're saying it's a GPCR platform company? Isn't well, it? it's it's really much more of a, a clinical development based company. Um, we have we happen to have three molecules that are GPCR based, yeah. um, but the, the focus is clinical development. It's the focus is getting through these clinical development milestones and hopefully eventually bring these products to the market. So I'm much more focused on the uh, on the later stage development as opposed to the early research on GPCR or on Belvic. So so you're uh, you know at this meeting. I mean, so Biotech Showcase is a uh, it's a traditional sort of partnering meeting. JP Morgan is a traditional investor meeting. You know, who are you actually sort of you're meeting with uh, at this conference and, and, and what are your objectives? This is really our first um, major event 
uh, in terms of reaching out to investors. So the bulk of our meetings were around investors. We need to get out to existing investors, new investors, and kind of refresh the story. I have people understand that this is not uh, arena from three or four years ago. There's not uh, the Belvique focus on the company, and that we have these three potentially first or best in class assets, all with data readouts in 2017. So helping people understand these milestones ahead of us um, and the promise of the company going forward is, is really our prime objective for this, uh, for this week. Right, and are you looking to bring in other assets? Our hands are full right now. So again, we've got three assets across six indications, most of them with data readouts in 2017. It's, uh, that's a lot for a company our size. Okay, great. Well, Amit, thanks very much. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Tell us the story. Thank you.